<sighs> something about catfish and Oh, you should remember what that is. Yeah. yeah. Um, do they have you been to Latino restaurants? Maybe. Not too many now. But maybe you've seen something. I'm sure. I'm sure they have it uh, in some of them because that's it's not uncommon. It's not an uncommon oh. dish. <laughs> it is not. At least for me, you know, my my palate is not well versed. So I'm I'm trying to try different cultures of food. But I don't really I didn't really get to do that when I was younger. Mm. It was very limited in terms of what I ate because my parents didn't really expand. Terror. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very specific. That doesn't sound good. No, like, they wanted me to have vegetables and stuff for sure, but like, it was pretty, pretty simple. It was either chicken or beef with some type of green or salad. That was about it. Nothing else. Mm. Very, very, it was very simple. <laughs> that sounds a little too simple for me. I'm surprised yeah. it took you that long to find. I made that one easy for you. Damn, I mean, it's okay, I guess, once in a while. Well, not once in a while, but you know, like, maybe... It's okay, as long as it's not the only thing that's cooked all the time, but... Yeah... I don't know. I'm always thinking if I had a child, I would want, you know, him or her to have like good experiences with food. Of course, no more than just English. Like maybe have another language or two that they know. So I probably wouldn't raise them in the United States. Kind of situation. Oh yeah, cause it's... You don't get too many of that. Well you do, but the problem is... Uh, all schools here are predominantly English. Mm -hmm. So, the only school that I could take him to, or the only schools I could think of, are like... You know, still kind of do bilingual. Is like... Over here, Washington Heights in Manhattan and I know there's like uh, quite a few schools there that will teach in English and Spanish must say no that's nice yeah there's like at least a few schools that will teach in English and Spanish so that's my only hope if I was to have a kid and I was still here for some stupid reason Other than that, I don't know, but yeah, if I was to have a child, I would definitely want them to know Spanish at least, and English. Hopefully making Spanish their first language, right? and then five years later, English. Uh, I think the only other language I've wanted to learn... Bad uh, time, freedom, uh, German, Japanese, and Spanish. That's one of the major languages I want to learn. Mm -hmm. Japanese is hard. I have. Yes, I. I think like you, you're like, oh, just those three. <laughs> Pretty, uh, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> that that's just yes, to begin yeah. with. <laughs> Then, um, let's see, and then learn. I actually really like the accent of English people. I really like it. So I want to learn how to kind of speak Makes a nice change from only leaving similar, if not like to the point where it sounds good. Because I feel like you definitely can tell when someone's just really bad at it and someone's actually not too bad at it. 
Uh, my um, tortoise. Mm -hmm. Are you? Are you? You're you're an Englishman, I I think. Right? I am. Yeah. I am indeed. Yeah. I'm from the yes. from England. Yeah. Cool. How, what's your take on that in terms of Americans? Um, uh, what's your take? On... I always wanted to know because I, I know everyone's got an opinion. Yeah, people... everyone has an opinion about that. It's true. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'll, I'll say it this way: as someone who has heard and heard like fine. different accents of English uh, speakers, it sounds like attractive sometimes. Other times, it sounds like shit. If it's like the nasty ghetto kind of talk mm. and if it's you know well mannered and polished I might be able to see it sounds amazing you know like it, it can sound really nice like you bacon you have a really nice english accent and it, it comes off really like charming mm -hmm. thanks <laughs> <laughs> Comes off really charming, and you know, I, I like that when I hear a voice like that. Very cool. I, I just wish my uh, my wisdom teeth kind of affect my speech a little bit. Uh, I'm just hoping to save up enough to get those taken care of, so I can not have to worry about that anymore. But yeah, I try to try to speak well or, or have. I've taken notice. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've taken notice. Uh, you do speak very well. Yeah, you gotta like a like a chilled out kind of. I feel sound chilled out. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice to listen to. You guys like your own voice? I, I do not like my voice. No. I, I do not. not. <laughs> but that seems I, to be a trend. I feel that like seems uh, to be a, <laughs> Like that seems to just be a trend that most people don't like their own voice anyways. Nice. Like sometimes I do like my voice. Like I can hear myself in voice recordings and uh, you know, I, matches that we did and I'm like, I sound you know, decent. Other times I'm like, what the fuck is my voice? <laughs> yeah, I, I think because you... The way I... If I hear myself on, like, a recording, I don't sound how I think I sound. Like, in my head when I speak. Yeah. I don't hear... Like, I think... Yeah, I don't like my voice on recordings, especially. I really don't. Like... Or, like, if I hear, like, a... You know, I leave a, a phone message or something. Yeah. I listen to it, I'm like, oh my god, do I sound like that? Like... Yeah, do you sound like <laughs> what you're hearing in your head when you yeah. talk and it's like, not the same? No. It, it sounds... Uh, you sound a little more deeper in your head than you do when mm -hmm. you talk mm -hmm. out loud for some yeah. reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I notice I don't sound like that and I'm like, I kind of hate my voice sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what did you say, Bacon? You you want my take on what how Americans speak or yes, <laughs> like when they try when they try to speak how you speak, like does that bug you? Like for me personally, uh, I had someone that kind of felt like I was mocking them. I'm like, no, I wasn't mocking you. I really like that type. I really like that accent. So I want to learn how to have that accent too. I um, see. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what would you try and sense. like speak in a British accent, or? Yeah, I would try. Okay. I've heard, okay. There's a lot of TV shows I've listened to, and there's a there's a good number of video games that have um, 
British people doing the voice acting for it. Like, there's mm-hmm. this one game, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Mm-hmm. It was English. Like, it was, like, my American English. But they just went full British for the entirety of the expansions. I'm like, they all sound awesome. <laughs> so I was like, I like this. I would I would also like to partake in speaking like this, too. It's not, it's not <laughs> overdone. It's not over the top. It's just right, I guess. That's the best way I can describe it. Yeah. I feel, yeah. Like you can, I feel like you can know the difference when someone's, like, overdoing it or when it actually sounds nice. Mm-hmm. Or not, I mean... like, someone's trying too hard. Yeah, it's like a... I don't really know, to be honest. I, 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 wanna, I don't want to say, like, I don't have an opinion, but, like, it doesn't bother me, personally. Like, someone wants to... If someone wants to, to, like, yeah, like you say, if someone feels like you're mocking them or something, like obviously some people would would do that maybe, but I I don't feel like if someone automatically wants to, to you know, they're like I want to speak like that because you know, I I'd like to I'd like to do that. I'd feel like. Uh, that wouldn't really, but that personally wouldn't like bother me. Like that's where is this core? Uh... Like yeah, it wouldn't bother. It wouldn't bother me personally. Okay. Uh, I think some people would be like maybe protective or something. And they'd be like, "Why are you trying to do that? Like, why are you trying to pretend you're British or something?" Like, oh. Right. I just do what you want, man. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's like a tortoise trying to have an, uh, an American accent, or like what is considered American accent, because I don't think there is more... Uh, I think there's more than one type of American accent. Mm-hmm. Every American is yeah. not the same. No. Uh, he can do that, uh, I would be like, why are you doing that voice? But I also not really care that much if he wants to speak that way. Like, I tell Cody all the time he can not speak like he's, you know, from the United States or something. He can try to speak more comfortably in his British accent. Because I know that that is just who he is in terms of like, you know, um, being European and that's right. what his voice originally is. So I'm like, he doesn't have to use that facade. I'm more than okay with him speaking the way he is. Even if I don't understand him a little bit, I, I'd i rather he still, it's just organic to me that he speaks how he usually yeah. would. That's why I never really judge people for accents, if it's a different language they speak, or if they're from a different part of the world. But if it is hard to understand, like really hard to understand, then I understand. Then I'm like, yeah, that kind of can't be the same. Like there are re- there are really thick accents that just do not combine well with the English uh, language for some reason, so that's why I'm like, uh, sometimes it's like, yeah, it's okay, it's whatever. You know, you can stay and talk how you want. Other times, I'll still understand usually anyways. Other times, I'm like, can you repeat that again? The butt? Mm-hmm. If it's like too thick, then I'm like, oh no, never mind. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna work. Like when you have a lot of people telling you that, that's when I can say it's a problem. When it's when you have like more than ninety percent of people understanding you, then it's usually not an issue. It shouldn't no. be. It doesn't really matter if your accent is, you know, a little bit side. If they still understand, that it matters. I sing for the taste of stolen and how. Ah. 
I save her. That is a stolen hope. The world has to know what happened here. I won't let Umbrella get away with this. Damn, that was clutch as hell. We were in overtime just about to lose and someone luckily had a first aid.